hello friends welcome to my channel data making okay so in this video i am going to discuss about the next commonly used transformation called uh, map partitions okay so uh, we will we'll go through the example and understand what is uh, map uh, map partitions does let me minimize this recording window okay so this is the example i took okay so what is uh, uh, what is the map transformation map uh, sorry map partitions transformation means it is going to return a new rdd by applying a function to the each partition of the rdd is not going to apply uh, uh, the function on each element in your rdd okay uh, so it, it is it rather it is going to apply a function on each partition which each partition will have items or the 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 uh, the lines or whatever the type of rdd it is going to apply so basically the function will apply on each transform each partitions okay so we'll understand how it is uh, works okay so first uh, what i to what i uh, 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 took is example okay so uh, so we are creating a uh, so let me go through the function uh, so uh, go to the program so after this uh, uh, pyspark uh, import okay i created a three function okay it's a simple python function one is a process partition okay whatever uh, uh, value it is coming it is going to uh, the partition right so it is actually a, a, it's a, a, a iterator or iterable okay so this iterable value okay it takes okay and it is going to sum up and it is going to uh, send it okay so yield method is actually uh, works like a generator right so it is alternative to the return okay so it is it will not uh, it will just return every every item is events every item is processed okay so uh, then uh, so same thing i just put in different way so this function the process partition and process partition underscore y underscore sum does same so just want you to uh, show you uh, this is a iterable object okay so uh, i just what i do is uh, i just created a one variable a number sum okay i just uh, using a for uh, for loop i iterated this uh, element in the partition okay i did sum and then uh, yield okay so yield we need to use because each partition it will return this uh, sum okay then third uh, this just uh, almost same what what i am going to do instead of sum uh, this is the uh, uh, this i just consider this is a uh, string value okay so uh, what are the line i get from the each partition okay so take his partition and iterate a, a string items in the partition and just find the length of that uh, uh, each item and say, uh, and put it in the list and send it as a final okay so for each partition i am going to do this so basically uh, this is the three function i wrote okay so uh, after creating a spark session object i created a number list okay this number contains so uh, one uh, so if you consider uh, one comma one to one one to one one to one so i took nine uh, items nine numbers and i mean integer numbers in this list okay so uh, i am going to convert this into uh, convert this as a rdd okay with three partition uh, my idea is actually to have three three numbers in each partition and do sum so that uh, just to differentiate you it is actually working on uh, each partition okay so uh, to after converting this if you want to know uh, how many partition this rdd contains there is a function called get num partitions using this function you can get a number of partition in this rdd okay so now we are applying the map partitions okay so i am calling a, a function uh, let me first call uh, uh, sorry okay let me call uh, process partition okay then we'll change it okay so uh, then in the second uh, example is uh, almost we, have, we want to use that uh, uh, string so this is the number with the number rdd uh, an rdd which contains number i'm going to uh, process with the rdd which contains string value means uh, lines okay so i am actually taking this uh, uh, input uh, the uh, the technical uh, over uh, the, this input path okay where i add uh, the if you let me show you the input path uh, i go to this uh, data i spark one at one input there are two files one is uh, uh, take.tx txt which contains uh, uh, five five yes five uh, uh, a word okay and uh, what is the other file contains take overview which contains six lines each line contains the words 
So I'm just going to find out length of each line. That's it from these two files so because I given the path, right? Not the exact file. I given the path. So it is going to take that. It is going to convert that uh, into RDD. So what happens is, uh, you know, in when you when you have a consider one file, that file actually it will consider that one file as a one partition if you don't provide uh, anything. So because each file when you store it uh, even HDFS, it will be one block will be allocated to that uh, file. So here in RDD, uh, um, when you read from HDFS, okay, so uh, whatever the, if you, if you actually reading a data from HDFS, how many number of blocks it will have, uh, that many number of partition by default it will have. You can change the partition, but in general, uh, how many blocks the particular file in HDFS, it will be converted into uh, uh, partition in RDD. Okay, so then you can find uh, RDD, uh, number of partition in the RDD. Okay, it will show you two. Okay, then I'm just selecting that RDD and I'm showing. So that is one part. Second part is basically what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to actually apply this map partitions. Okay, I'm going to apply this function called map partition uh, y underscore size. Okay, I just want to find out uh, each uh, uh, each line size of the each line. Okay, so uh, it will actually for each partition will come to know the uh, each line size. Okay, let me run this program. Okay, so what it is going to apply, right, from the first example. Uh, so, example, this is first three item is taken for one partition. So, it will find out some for this partition. Similarly, other two partition sum, you will get it. So, it is just displaying the partition as three. It is processing. See here. See, they took this first uh, three element in the first partition. It summed up, so you get four. So this is for first partition. This is for second partition, third partition. So you, overall three partition and three sum up. So generally, when map partition is used, is when you want to do the, uh, the some processing with respect to partition level. You don't want to do this global level. If you want to do the partition level, it is, will be very very beneficial because it is going to process that partition separately. You get a good performance. Okay, so because uh, if you don't want the uh, 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 pro, uh, the the aggregation at global global level, uh, then you need not to do the uh, other uh, uh, transformation. So you, you can actually use the map partitions for uh, specific to partition level processing. So in the second example also, the first it shows all the other uh, what are the content in the RDD. So I told you it is taking from two files. So first file contains words. Okay, see five lines. Other uh, other uh, file contains uh, six lines. This is only. So it is actually finding the length of this. So from this first partition, uh, this is to become a first partition. So length of each word. So this is a five character. This is a six character. This is seven character. This is seven character. This is eight characters. So and then it, this entire line is how many character? It just show you 42, 44, 27, 31, 30, and 21. So this is how you apply a yeah, uh, map, part, map, map partitions uh, transformation. Okay. Thank you so much, friends. See you in the next video.